there's a moment that happens in this film that I would say is like the equivalent to like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield showing up in Spider-Man No Way Home. And to be in the theater for that moment, not expecting it or not really understanding the significance of that and hearing our theater erupt, I just, I got hyped. I'm getting goosebumps thinking of it right now because it was such a fun moment to be part of. And to watch this movie in the afternoon on a Tuesday like we did, pack theater, people applauding, people having a great time, like, like, how could you not love the movies? Hello and welcome to the movie podcast review of Bataan. My name is Shabazz and of course I'm joined by my other spies, my my Bollywood spies. You know, they're look, look at them. He's already touching his ear. He's listening to his coordinates and his information. Daniel, Daniel, how are you doing today? Consider it done. I'm doing well and uh, it'll be done. Don't uh, worry about it. The target is on your left or maybe on your right. Who knows? On my screen though, target he is, is on your left. In that <laughs> I'm target, gonna make sure that I'm on at the top so I don't get I don't get killed. And that target though, that's <laughs> That voice right there you hear is Anthony. Anthony, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I uh, I'm super excited to talk about uh, today's movie. And awesome. uh, if I was an a, a spy, what am I? What am I a in spy. this movie? You're a spy. Am I a spy? Yeah. Yes, I would. Uh, I don't know. What would I do? Uh, I don't know. You'd probably spy, probably kill people. Yeah. No, I know. But yeah, what is what does a typical Bollywood spy do? In, well, you in, just in, you just watched one. Yeah, but he. Yeah, okay, I guess I would have like this big, long, flowing hair, and wind would always be pushing through it, mm-hmm. no yes. matter where I am in the world. So if I'm in a building or if I'm in the middle of a car, right. air is always pushing through. It's true. Hair. Right. Air let's, conditioning. Let's be honest, though. Let's be honest. It'd be Shay and I teaming up to take down mm. the villain that is Anthony. In exactly. Movie, 100%. Yeah, you'd be the bad so, guy, There's Anthony. no question. You'd be the bad guy. Yeah. Uh, no, I think the audience would, like, they'll have empathy for my my situation, and they'll be like, you know what? We're <laughs> on Anthony's side. Yeah, his uh, okay. his goldfish passed away, and he's been on a he's been on a road of vengeance. He's been then. on a rampage ever since, yeah. yeah. Shay, how are you doing, though? You know, I'm doing great. I'm so excited to talk about this movie. This is our first, I guess, real Bollywood uh, review, you know, it's been a long time coming. We've got a lot of people saying, "Hey, when are you gonna review this movie? When are you gonna review this movie?" And I'm like, "Listen, guys, Anthony and Daniel do not want to watch Bollywood movies. They don't understand what true. they're saying." And then I realized yep. I was just gatekeeping okay. them. I was just gatekeeping them from this beautiful world. And we we're now on the road to watching only Bollywood movies. We're gonna stop with Hollywood. We're gonna stop doing so. We should probably cancel all of our upcoming uh, screenings that we're going to and just watch Bollywood movies at home. We'll even take the tickets away from the people that we've given them away to. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll cancel we'll all, take the, them back. all the contests. All the contests that we have going on, those tickets are canceled. Do not go. I'm just sorry. I'm just getting a, I'm just getting a report from uh, Mission Control here. Are you at uh, NASA? Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. He is hosting this episode. Correct. Yes. All right, we'll take care of him. We had the brown guy do from it. From the knees down. Oh, <laughs> from the knees down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's okay in, in this world though let's be honest here even with my knees being completely destroyed i would just have robotic legs or you would be like like an animal would be your your assistant like a tiger or uh-huh. an elephant usually there's that's there, you see a lot of animals in bollywood films so right there wasn't any have... in this movie though i'll be honest <laughs> i was waiting I, for I one you know? any, I, was... I didn't even see any birds in this movie. no they, there, were they not, there weren't even birds the bird budget was super low like they had zero no, no, birds. they're like listen the only thing in the sky is going to be us in jetpacks. So don't <laughs> they worry. were the birds. <laughs> they were they the birds. themselves they were the became birds. the birds. They were they the were abs- the birds, were the birds right. exactly. And of course, I, let, let me let me first, you know, before we get too uh, talkative about this movie, let, let's talk about some, talkative. Talkative. That's the uh, I believe that's the <laughs> Indian way of saying talkative. Talkative. Uh, well, let's talk about our show here first. I mean, Daniel already alluded to some things, but. If you want to follow us, we are the movie podcast. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterbox. That's at the movie podcast. You can follow us also on YouTube. Say hello to us. We're here, hi, waving at you. Subscribe, leave a comment. If you got a chance to watch this movie, if you haven't had a chance to watch this movie, you're a fan of Bollywood. Please let us know what are some of your favorite movies that maybe you want to suggest over to Daniel and Anthony. I luckily grew up with it, and but I have been out of it for a few years. So maybe suggest some to me as well that are a little bit more recent that I haven't been able to watch. So if there's something that you think that we should be checking out, let us know. We have seen RRR, which we all loved, and we, we were so excited about that film. So now we're definitely opening up a new door and opening up ourselves to more and more amazing movies, and we can't wait 
uh, to watch more, especially the spy universe that's kind of coming out here. Uh, we do have some amazing contests that are we going to be posted throughout our Instagram and Twitter and social media everywhere we go. Daniel, I will kick it over to you for announcements in just a second. But if you are listening to us on a podcast app, please give us five stars and also leave a comment there too, because we would love to read it out and give you a shout out as well. Daniel, you have some announcements I heard? I do have some announcements. So like as we said at the top of the show, uh, we have a couple great giveaways going on right now on the movie podcast. So if you're following us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, wherever you're following us, uh, specifically Twitter and Instagram though, at the movie podcast, uh, you could enter in our giveaway to win tickets to um, see the Pamela Anderson documentary, which is going to be on, which is on Netflix, the Pamela, a love story. And Pamela Anderson is going to be there in person in Toronto. So definitely go uh, enter in that giveaway. Also Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. We have tickets uh, that we want to give away to the Canadian premiere in Toronto. So please go enter t- into that. You don't want to miss this opportunity. Um, we'll have we have some great coverage coming for Ant Man. So stay tuned for that. And of course, check out all the incredible episodes that we've been releasing. Our reviews, our main episode that we just dropped this week, where we talk about our most anticipated movies of the year, and of course our weekly after show for The Last of Us on HBO. We've been having such a great time recording those episodes and getting them to you right at 10 p.m. every Sunday night so you could watch it. As soon as you finish watching on HBO, bring those tears over to the movie podcast. We'll be there waiting for you with tissues and crying as well. So make sure you tune in for all of that and more. There's so much going on here. Lots more coming. We love what we're doing. We're going to keep bringing it to you. Absolutely. Thank you for that. And of course, the movie that we are talking about today is Patan. It is released by Yash Raj Films and directed by Siddharth Anand, starring Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone, John Abraham, and of course, Dimple Kapadia. And Anthony, if you want to kick us with a little synopsis there, that'd be super great. An Indian spy takes on the leader of a group of mercenaries who have nefarious plans to target his homeland. Yeah, it's. I mean, I, I'd say this is a very, you know, simple spy story, but what's happening in the movie is not simple at all, and it's a, it's a wild, wild ride, and I cannot wait for Daniel to give us his first reactions to Patan. Listen, you know, going into this movie, you know, we're coming off of, you know, the most recent Bollywood film that I've watched is RRR. So now that I have have RRR and Patan as my two most recently watched Bollywood films, it kind of ruins all other movies for you because they are so just like, yeah, what if, if, if a scale of one to 10 is how extreme this movie is. This movie is about a 13 or 14. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's, that's a, a little, little reference to this movie. It's a little, a little, reference. little reference to this movie. Um, this movie is adrenaline. This movie is extreme to the max. It is just sitting at the edge of your seat, not believing a thing you're seeing but cannot but you can't move your eyes from the screen you are glued to what's happening you are absolutely here for the ride i wish my seatbelt sorry i wish my seat had a seatbelt because i felt like i was going to fly away while watching this it's such a great time uh Shah Rukh Khan obviously one of the most recognizable and known movie stars in the world um and you see that in this film you see why he is the best of the best you see why he is first of all is I don't think there's any bad looking people in this movie. Uh, the, apparently, everyone in this film is a model because they are just beautiful to look at. Twelve and packs also, all the way. Twelve packs all the way. You know their eyelids have muscles on it. it. Blew me away. Anytime they blinked, I'm like, oh my god. Um, it's just it's just a wild time. And you think of movies like Fast and the Furious. You think of movies like James Bond, The Dark Knight, Mission Impossible, Born. This movie is all of those movies kind of roll into a ball, set on fire, and said, let's make a million of this and multiply it and go crazy. Like, it is such a wild adrenaline rush, and I just had such a fun time watching it. And like I said at the beginning of my reaction, it's going to be really weird just watching a, a regular Bollywood movie now because I'm going to be like, when when is the explosion happening? When is someone going to just, like, leap off a building and grab a jetpack and connect to a plane? Because, like, there's so much madness that happens in this film, but it is so fun. And I think watching it in this theater, and again, no spoilers, obviously, there's a moment that happens in this film that I would say is, like, the equivalent to, like, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield showing up in Spider-Man No Way Home and to be in the theater for that moment, not expecting it or not really understanding the significance of that and hearing our theater erupt, I just I got hyped. I'm getting goosebumps thinking of it right now because it was such a fun moment to be part of. And to watch this movie in the afternoon on a Tuesday like we did, pack theater, people applauding, people having a great time. Like, like how could you not love the movies? Like this, you watch this, how could you not love 
what movies could be. And then all it makes me want to do is just keep broadening my horizons to more movies like this, to like to so many series. Like there's so many movies now that I literally was leaving the theater on IMDb in, in my like Apple TV app. Let me just, okay, let me add this to my watch later. Let me add this to my up next. Let me watch this. Cause you just want to be part of it because when you have something that's such a rush like this, it's hard to let that adrenaline rush go. You want to keep feeding it. You kind of get addicted to the adrenaline of it. Right. So I'm just so in love with what I watch. I just had such a fun time watching it. And I think, when 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 I you yes, there's ridiculousness that happens in this movie throughout, but it's so fun, and I think it's also very self aware of that. It's never like winking at the camera, like self aware, like oh it's meta, but it's like we know that there could be silly things in this, and we want to, We're not afraid to make fun of ourselves too. And I think I just I just had a wonderful time watching it. It was so fun watching it together. Support for the movie podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Their products are precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped's performance package, the ultimate men's hygiene bundle, join over 7 million men worldwide who have trusted Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code MOVIEPOD at manscaped.com. If my math is correct... That's about 14 million balls. You know what I didn't know I needed, but I needed is an LED light on my shaver. Oh my God. Like, oh my gosh. Yes. There is darkness, especially around that area. <laughs> it works so well. It, you can really pinpoint all the hairs and you're like, okay, I got this point. Because you hair kind of like starts to mesh and you really don't see it properly. But with this LED light, it's... Super bright, and you can get everything precision cut. It's a 4,000K LED spotlight, so you are literally putting a spotlight to your genitals down there to make sure you're you're treating them as you should. The skin-safe proprietary technology that they use for uh, the, the lawnmower is really good. Like, I, I, I was always a little hesitant going down there, and then I felt safe. I felt like there was protection there. Manscaped just makes it so easy to choose a tool, whatever you're using, be it the beer trimmer, the lawnmower, the weed whacker, and it just feels like there is like this accessibility to it that I absolutely love. Get 20% off in free shipping with the code MOVIEPOD at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code MOVIEPOD. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job at Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. Your balls will thank you. Your balls. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, it was absolutely a phenomenal time. And I think one of the things that you touched upon is, you know, it's hard to kind of watch another Bollywood movie after watching something like this. And I totally get that because, you know, Bollywood really is in an interesting spot where they have so many different genres within, you know, obviously just like we have Hollywood, but really you get your romance films, you get your, your musicals, which is pretty much almost all of them. And then you have these action blockbusters that really... You know, they put movies like Expendables to shame where it's like, oh, we only had two action set pieces. This movie has like 43 set pieces that go absolutely. In the beginning of the movie. <laughs> in the, sorry, in the title <laughs> sequence of the film yeah. alone. So you have things like that. And also you have a movie that, and I know this is going to sound a bit crazy here, but only coming in at about two and a half hours. This is on the shorter side of Bollywood as well, because you really only have two main songs, one in the middle of the film, then one right towards the end with the credits. So. It's a little bit different, but Anthony, I'd love to get your first reactions to Patan as well. What I love about Bollywood films is they take what's great about Hollywood films, but then they add their own twist to it, especially their their action sequences and how they orchestrate the the visuals for a lot of these these actors and actresses that are part of these these big movies. And you know, you Daniel was right. Daniel's right in terms of this amalgamation of all these movies and you can pinpoint them like you can say okay that's mission impossible and that's maybe the matrix that's that's you know falcon and the winter soldier there's so many different takes but it's their own version of it as well and i think this this movie says a lot about where bollywood is going in terms of the grand scheme of being always in this uh we'll say realm of south asian community now it's being opened up to so many more people and i had a great time watching it i think we this is kind of my second film of the second bollywood film of the year and we all had we were all laughing we 
we knew that this movie was making fun of itself as well is making fun of itself in terms of being this this over the top action adventure but it is also this crazy wild adventure that has moments where you're like holy shit how did they film this how did they how did they get him to jump from that place and grind off a helicopter wing and then land on the ground and then turn around and then take control of the helicopter there's so many great action sequences about in this film and then you know to throw it into you know a whole music video dance sequence right in the middle that doesn't feel off like it just works and it becomes this really interesting chemistry of everything that we love and it almost becomes like almost like a commercialized piece of art i don't know if that makes sense but that's what it feels like and i think that's where you know Bollywood really loves making movies and they really love telling these types of stories. And they also like the commercialization of it as well and the grandness of it and how everyone is very pretty and sometimes narcissistic and, and, and they all are perfect looking abs and figures. And I, I, I couldn't believe that the, the main actor Shah Rukh Khan is 60. Well, I guess when he filmed this, he might've been 58 and the guy looks like he's, He's fifty-seven now, right? Like he's he's it's wild. Yeah, he's fifty-seven he's now, pretty much almost sixty. Yeah, yeah. No, oh I I God. did the math. He's sixty right now. I, but, but I we just checked online. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he fifty-seven? I I I think he's fifty-seven. I did the. I thought I did the math properly. He he, he was born nineteen sixty-five. So he's fifty-seven years old. Yeah, sixty-five is yeah. yeah. He's fifty-seven. Yeah. Oh my bad. Yeah, Anyways, still, the guy looks still, like, like he's like thirty. Three years away. Yeah. It's so yes. it's just everything is is such a an eventful sequence and everything makes sense. And you might, the story gets a little convoluted with what's happening, especially because they're, they're going everywhere and they're traveling and it does feel like a sensory fast overload for sure. Fast and furious film. It, there are really great points and I, I had a, a great time with it. It was fun and I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this movie right now and I'm, I'm trying to understand, you know, because I've, I've been out of the, I've been out of the Bollywood world, like I said, for a little while here to, to go back into it and understand that, you know, Yash Raj films, which is one of the biggest Bollywood, you know, powerhouses in terms of production, like they're the Disney when it comes to it all. Um, it, it's insane that they're now trying to attempt this this spy universe and you're looking at the movies that they've done like the like the Colonel Luthra in this movie who's you know playing like the Bane commander or everyone he's kind of like your your Nick Fury because he's been in other movies as the same role and you can see that they're kind of building this universe out and it makes sense because I know Bollywood's ha- made their attempts at at superhero movies before and I don't know if it was always a hit but what they've always been good at, though, is is the action, the the spy, the the big, you know, the, what they call them, kaladis. Like they're just absolute spy badass guys. Like it's, it's literally what what it is. And these movies are are proof of that. And you can make a universe out of it because you have so many phenomenal actors that are in this world already, killing it. So to see Shah Rukh Khan, first of all, at fifty seven, rocking a body like that is is insane because he was always it's wild. It's wild. It's there were times we were just wild. getting we're like this is egregious for someone to look like this. Like it's it's insane. I had a phenomenal time with it, but I do agree with you. Anything like the the story does get a bit convoluted. I like you you don't have to make it so intense. It, there's there's points where I'm like you're jumping from from timeline to timeline to timeline, and while maybe this movie really isn't about the story. It's really about the millions of set pieces. And this is probably the only way that they could tell, you know, a movie take, taking place in Russia and then taking place here in Spain and so on and so forth. I think they could have just toned down a little bit. And instead of confusing, cause even me who was understanding the film, I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I'm kind of lost here. Like they, they lost me a bit, but then I'm watching them do backflips with a shotgun while the camera's sp- panning around everybody while they're wearing a, uh, a flight suit. So I immediately didn't care what the story was about. And I think that's kind of what they just want you to do with this movie is go along for the ride because that's really what it is. And the music is great too. We were all bobbing our heads because it's just so epic. Like the actual Bangers. Bollywood score is amazing, but also the music, the actual original songs are great. And Bollywood always does a fantastic job with the original music. You know, we just had uh, Natu Natu for RRR that is going to hopefully be not winning an Oscar or We'll see, but at least I want a Golden Globe, which is pretty wicked. But then you have a movie like this where everything just kind of works. The chemistry between all the actors is phenomenal as well. John Abraham plays a really, really 
awesome, scary kind of villain. Like he's a he's such a he's such an asshole about it, and, and it works. The only thing that doesn't work is his name. Jim is a really interesting name for a villain because Jim it's is the guy things, you work right? with, you know? Jim is the guy yeah. that's that's really annoying in accounting, maybe. And I'm so sorry if Jim, your name is Jim. Can you give me that rundown by yeah. the end of this, please? Like, <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Like it's it's you're so right, Jay. Because like, and again, there's a lot of things in this movie that, you know, maybe the localization of it doesn't always translate. Or, you know, it's sometimes like we could see things as cliche here in North America, but you know, on the other side of the world it's not. And I think sometimes in this movie there and I think that's just a natural thing with some movies that are overseas that every line almost sounds like they're doing a one liner, like, oh, like give him give him yeah. his like give him his like his his finish his badass line, line. You know what I mean? His badass line. But it's like but that's just I think the nature of it. But yeah, calling him Jim, it just every time it happened, it was just so funny because it's it was. like the most intense situation, world ending stakes right now. People are about to die. Jim. And they're like, oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. Hey, dear Jim. dear okay. God, it's Jim. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> and like I imagine them just turning yeah. around, it's like a schlubby kind of dude. He's just kind of like holding a coffee oh, mug. His, hey. his, his name is not Jim. You just you know, like it just doesn't fit the character that he's portraying. It just because he's wonderful to look at. He is sculpted, you know. He is sculpted Greek from God. clay. Yeah, you know, like he is. He's he's a, a beautiful looking man. But it's like you say, oh, your your name is Jim. Is it short for like <laughs> yeah. Jimothy? Like even yeah. Jimothy would have been better. You yeah, know I think, what I mean? Like, I, like take James or even like, you know, Jason would have been a cool name if you want to stick with the J name. Uh, but Jim yeah. was definitely like a bit of a weak point for me. But honestly, yeah. it doesn't matter. Name wise. Yeah. Name wise, sorry. Name-wise. Yeah, name wise yeah, only. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because this movie just jumps from locale to locale, Dubai to Spain to uh, Paris. Afghanistan to Paris Afghanistan, to Russia. Yeah, to Paris. Yeah, and you you kind of feel like you're just going along for the ride. It's like it's like a it's like a tourism video in the best of mm-hmm. ways, and nothing is being destroyed in these in these cities either. They're so immaculate still. They're all beautiful to look at. You're having great dance sequences. You're having great action sequences. Overall, it's just a really really fun time. One thing that I I, I died of laughter and i think i die of laughter whenever it's done is when there is a language being spoken but then all of a sudden it would cut to uh an english phrase or an english say saying and it would just be so funny because it's like they'll say the word in hindi and then all of a sudden it would be like you got that and then it would go back to (laughs) hindi it it would just be like these and they have like this this um fourth wall breaking scenario where it's almost like they're they're making fun of themselves and right. action action yeah. sequences where they had those those sayings or those slogans that um that it just comes off it's it's funny and i i would wonder like why don't you just say it all in hindi or just say it all in english yeah. so it would be hindi one word in english hindi it's like you guys have a word for that in hindi as well i'm pretty sure you do <laughs> and, and it's funny because it, and it's like little moments like that and again that's just that's just i think the the north america in us where it's like there's this intense battle and they're going, they're fighting epic nonstop in Dubai. And then Jim's just like, see you later, buddy. <laughs> it's like, hold on a second. Did you just say, see you later, buddy? Like, like I'll text you later. <laughs> that doesn't sound like, <sighs> okay. That doesn't sound like the right line right now. But again, it's, 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 I think it also adds to the experience too. Cause we are just like, you know, like Shay said, like this movie's not about that. You know, yeah. this movie is not about that. This movie is about watching these two guys, these two gods fighting on top of a train and then fighting in planes and then fighting in jetpacks and then fighting in underground bunkers and then on the ice. And like, it's just like, you just, you're not caring at the end of it. You're just like, I'm just on this ride. Absolutely. I just want to hold on. Get it, it, ready yeah. for some, that, 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 that ice sequence was, uh, it was a, a <laughs> dude, when she came out on her ice, on her speed skates, I was, Lord, I'm like, there's no way she had these prepared. Olympic team, Dude. Olympic team, right there. But they team make you India, believe it, right? Next, they make you believe Olympics. it. You're like, like, okay, this doesn't make any sense, but the way they're doing, it, you're like, I mean, I guess she could outrun a motorcycle. I mean, I why don't I think of that? But it just works, and this movie is so self aware, and I think that's kind of the best part about it. And I think, I think, like you said, Daniel, it's not doing like a wink and a nod to the audience. But it's just kind of like, no, we know we're a ludicrous, over-the-top action film, kind of like The Expendables. Yeah. But whereas in the or Luda ex- yeah. in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> exactly. Whereas in The Expendables, each actor is vying for their spotlight. In this movie, they're all trying to equally share it and give each other like the kudos and the pat on the back and saying, no, John, your turn. No, Sharuk, your turn. Deepika, your turn. And they all have an yeah. amazing, amazing time. Chemistry is great. The action is great. Had a lot of fun with this movie. 
I think it's safe to jump to our final reactions. And Daniel, I'm going to kick it off with you first. Yeah, honestly, this movie, I, I had a blast watching. And, you know, yes, there could be some convolutedness to the story itself. It is over the top. It is sensory overload. But I think right now, I cannot think of a better way to spend your time if you're into action movies. This is what you need to be watching. Like, there is no other movie other than Patan. Like, you need to watch this. If you, if you want an adrenaline rush, if you want to have a great time, this movie is an easy watch it for me. I cannot wait to watch it again. I had so much fun with it. And, uh, you know, just to, talk, to touch on what Shay just mentioned before, like what we were saying, that, you know, we look at movies like Expendables and Fast and the Furious where, yeah, you know what? They, they're super over the top. and But there's something about just the, the nature of, yeah, everyone gets their moment to shine in this film. And I think that's what's really important. And it knows exactly what it is. It's not built out of like this machismo or anything like that, where you would see like in a North American film, like, no, it's like, let's just have a great time. Let's get everyone to, to have a great time making this movie. And you're going to have an amazing time watching it. So it's the easiest watch I could give. You're going to have a wonderful time with it. And I wouldn't be surprised if I keep falling more and more in love with it by the end of this year. So can't wait. Absolutely. Anthony, what about yourself? I absolutely loved it. Daniel pretty much summed it up. This is a great film to watch, and I think it's it'll, it'll be really fun to watch with a group of people, a group of friends. And if this is like if I were to suggest any type of Bollywood film for 2023, this is definitely the one. I know it's only January, but it's a fun time. You're going to enjoy it. I think a lot of people will be engaged with the story. It, it like I said, it's a little convoluted, but over the top action and the the ludicrousness of its if its premise and how things take flight it's a great visual stimulant and that's that's where i take away from this is a lot of stimulant and i i would say you know for me Deepika was the biggest stimulant because i couldn't keep my eyes off her she was absolutely beautiful she has these big brown eyes and you just can't not not look at her absolutely yeah i mean I, i'm right there with you guys this is, this is such an easy watch it i had so much fun i you know growing up Shah Rukh khan was my favorite actor he was you know the idol that i praise and i watched all his movies so to to see him just kick ass in this movie alongside pretty much what feels like a family even though there's a villain in this movie there's such a love that they all have for each other that really carried forward i'm so confident this is not going to be the only bollywood film that we reviewed this year we're definitely going to be reviewing a lot of great movies this year and i cannot wait to see what else comes out make sure to go watch this movie make sure to also subscribe to the movie podcast on instagram twitter tiktok and of course letterbox and make sure you subscribe to us on youtube leave us a comment below if you watch baton or again like i said in the beginning you want to recommend some great volume movies to us that are some of your favorites please do because we would love to know and of course huge shout out to our friends over at manscape for also sponsoring this video so make sure to check out all that information down below because there's a coupon code in there you want to get some some deals you want to buy some gifts this is the time to do it valentine's day is coming up and Honestly, groomed men is the way to go. All the men in this movie, while I was watching this, by the way, they're all definitely using Manscaped because they're hairless, like head to toe, except with this nice stubble beard, which I'm assuming was the was the the hedge trimmer they must have used at this point. Yeah, it was it was the it was the be it was the the beard the beard hedger for sure. Yeah, and then they were definitely using like the the the, the lawnmower everywhere else. Everywhere so else, it's crazy. They look immaculate they, without yeah, the guard. Immaculate. No without guard, <laughs> just <laughs> no just just right skin, safe, skin safe technology only. That's it. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, and of course, you can uh, leave a comment uh, down below subscribe to us on all your podcast apps as well Leave, give us five stars right into the show as well we would love to hear from you that was this time with the movie podcast and we'll see you next